Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a man, and his name was Beowulf. No one has ever seen someone with such masculinity that could slay any beast or demon to ever approach him until they met him. For one day, the great Beowulf got news that there was some type of monster killing mass amounts of people across the ocean. With his high honor and pride for not being able to lose to anything that came towards him, he set across the ocean with 13 men to kill this beast of which they called Grendel. They set across the oceans, storms everywhere, wind blowing, waves crashing. They were going across the wind on a set path of which they knew would lead them to the Grendel. They knew fate was ahead of them and they knew they were going to be victorious. It was only a matter of time. As they arrived to the other kingdom, they were first questioned of what they were doing in their Viking looking ship. But they just told the people they were there to save them and that his name was Beowulf. So then they were quickly led to what was called the Mead Hall, where they would then find Beowulf. Well, they would then find the Grendel. Anyways, we're going to take a quick break. It's a fine day. You're outside mowing your lawn. Not worried about too much. Nothing at all. Next thing you know, you look up and there's a big monster frolicking across your yard. <laughs> what do you do then? Of course, it's a fight or flight situation. So... You're fat and slow, so you decide you're gonna fight. You begin fighting the monster. Next thing you know, there's blood everywhere. You don't know what exactly you're gonna do about it. So, you start looking for things to patch it up and fix the problem. But you do not have any. So you then travel to your nearest pharmacy, leaving the monster at pause, and you grab a Band-Aid. When you meet your match, and your arm detach, you need to plug that patch. Band-Aid. And we're back. As the night got longer, and the crowd got louder, and the people got drunker, Beowulf knew it was not far until he would meet face to face with the monster he has been told about. He knew that as the crowd was louder, it attracted the Grendel more and more. So, he prepared himself, staying awake while everyone else passed out of their drunkenness. And come a time, he knew he could feel it. He could feel the Grendel's presence coming through the night as the crickets chirped. Shortly after he had prepared himself, he hears a loud shake on the door. Next thing he does is he hops up to his feet and strips all of his clothes off so he can fight the beast one-on-one -on -one as a fair fight. No weapons, no guards, just him versus Grendel. The Grendel busts through the door screeching as loud as one could ever imagine. <coughs> and the next thing you know, Beowulf looks at the big ugly Grendel and grins. And says, I laugh in the face of danger. He attacks the Grindel, grabbing it by its mane, punching it in the face, ripping, gouging at its skin, and just loving every piece of brutal immense he brought towards it. It was shortly after that that the Grindel knew he was going to lose, and the next thing you know, Beowulf does a backflip and kicks him in the face. <laughs> The Grindel cried. Beowulf laughed, ran over to him, grabbed him by the arm, and slowly ripped as hard as he could. 
and the arm slowly came off. The Grindel ran in fear, crying back to its mother. <coughs> grabbed the arm, picked it up, showed it to all his warriors and said, My name is Beowulf and I have beat the Grindel. I am amazing.